Good evening. There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between sanity and stupidity, between logical and loony, and it lies between the pit of a man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of unbelievability. It is an area which we call the Frauditor Zone. In today's episode, our Frauditor gets shut down, humiliated, and then locked out when he makes the mistake of forwarding the wrong library at the wrong time at the wrong place. Ladies and gentlemen, coming at you once again, American Press Corps, we are out here at Corpus Christi Public Library. It's Dr. P. Garcia Library. Today we're going to see if they honor and respect my right to video and film in public and from publicly accessible places. So let's go check it out. It's actually a very nice library. Those bad vibes you're getting is because you're surrounded by a thing called books. Now to most people, books are educational and fun, but to fraudulenters who can't read and wouldn't even if they could, it's like they're mocking him, daring him to come closer. But the Frauditors are too afraid to get too close. Well, maybe they have a book called Reading for Dummies that just contains pictures. I'll keep an eye out for you as you walk around. I'm pausing it here to introduce you to this man. Now, I don't know who he is or where he came from, but he's going to be the superstar of the video. Pay attention to this man. He is awesome. What are you doing? Don't take a picture of me. What an asshole. That's not very nice, sir. Pardon? That's not what? very nice to Why say. Why are you taking a picture of me? That's not very nice to say. Me, I don't know. Sir, can I help you? I don't need any help. Thank you, sir. What are you doing? He's been filming all over. I'm sorry, what was that, ma'am? You can't be taking my picture unless I give you permission to. Can I have your permission, please? No. no. Okay, so he was not given permission to film the lady. What are your thoughts of what he'll actually do now? <laughs> yeah, we all know the answer to this one. You need to call us. That is wrong. You don't go around the public picking. So you're causing a disturbance in that government location. Can we talk about it privately? No. No? We have no choice in government. You cannot so, be in here. So there's no recourse? You can go, you can call administration, you can call the city. But we're just, you know. Probably a terrorist or something. A terrorist? Are we done? Or just yes, a nutcase? That's not very kind, sir. Thank you. Are you going to call a, a cop on this guy? Well, I think he is. Sir, why would you want to call the police? Because you're intruding. Because I'm what? You're in government property and you're creating a disturbance. You're the one who made a ruckus. Did you call or you want me to? Good. And I hope 
you don't run until the police shows up. Why would I run? I'm not doing anything wrong. Uh, if you're taking someone's picture without their permission, yes, you are. That's yeah, a you're taking offense. a picture of you. That is a federal offense. That's a federal offense. Yes, it is. <laughs> that is menacing, and you better get out of here really quick before I push you out of here. You don't do that kind of stuff. That is rude and illegal. Ma'am, you threatened to push me. Sir, she threatened to push me. Don't go crying to him. He is not on your side. You'll just have to find a better safe place. That wasn't very nice either. Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Who are you taking a picture of me? Everybody here. I'm a concerned citizen, sir. Go ahead. Did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed this morning, sir? I hope you're, you have that on, on tape, on record. What's that? Yeah. You being a jerk? That was very rude, sir. Sorry. Mm -hmm. That was very rude of you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't leave. Wait. Are you going to block my path, sir? Mm -hmm. You've been blocking my path for a while now. I think I'm going to leave now. Bye. Oh no, the dreaded cam back. Every foreigner's worst fear. Well, except for the fear of having to get a J-O-B. What, what did you wait for the cop? So you can explain what you're doing. What about if they tell you that Everything's okay. We'll find out. We'll find out. You're not very nice, sir. Mm -hmm. This woman threatened to push me. Sir, this woman threatened to push me. I would like to file an official complaint, please. There's a box over there. The box? Mm -hmm. You don't have any forms? I did file the forms. Ma'am, you've been very rude today. I would like to file a complaint. Go who, ahead. who is your supervisor, please? Who is your supervisor, ma'am? And what is your first name? But you're a public employee, ma'am. It's only polite to give your first name to the public. Sue me for what? Ma'am, you're just doing what he wants to. I know. Yeah, I know. Don't, 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 don't be an answer. Don't be an answer. 
Ma'am, did you or did you not threaten to push me? But I have it. I have it recorded, ma'am. I have it recorded. Ma'am, you threatened me on camera. You threatened to push me. I don't need your permission, sir. You don't? No, sir. You're in a public place. No public place? Yes. Do this shit outside. Why can't I do it right here? You know what? Come on, man. Step outside. Come on. Are you threatening me, sir? No, come on here. What's your issue, bro? Let's go talk. Let's go talk outside. You're scared me, man. What's your issue? There's children here. Get out. What's that? There's children here, man. Get out here. Are you a child, sir? It's literally an elementary school, dude. This is a public building, correct? Yes. It's also a shared space for school. Is this not a public library? going to fast forward through all this riveting content to when the foreigner tries to go back into the library. They've locked the doors. <laughs> Refuse service. Yeah, because you're annoying everybody. Thanks for holding the door for me, sir. That was the nicest thing you've done all day. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. What's your problem, man? You're just a jerk. You shouldn't be talking to people that way. You realize that, right? Where's your car? What's that? Where do you live? Where do I live? Mm -hmm. I'm not foolish enough to tell you that. That's because you're ashamed to admit that you live in your mother's basement with the spiders and the dirty laundry. It's okay, though. We all knew it already. You told me where you live. I told you I live right there. I know, that was very uh, foolish. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? I'm a stranger. Because this is my neighborhood. Yeah, but I'm a stranger. You don't tell you yeah. where you live to strangers, sir. So why are you taking pic photos of everybody? Sir, is this not a free country? Mm -hmm. Are we not in America? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. And in America, do we have the Constitution? You are an idiot, man. Can you answer that question? In America, is there a constitution? Sir, I have every right to video record in public. Do you realize that? Are you going to video the police when they show up? Yeah, but do you know why they're not showing up quickly? Mm -hmm. 
because it's a low priority. It's a low priority. They already know what's going on. You don't think that they've gotten calls about this before? I guess they're holding them hostage inside. These people literally wanted to leave. And then they wouldn't allow them to leave. See, you just don't get it, do you? Because of you, no one can enter or leave the library. All because you want to make a lame video for YouTube. Go ahead and explain to all those people how you're protecting their First Amendment rights. They'll probably understand. Maybe. Not. Hello. Ma'am, I just wanted to let you know what was going on here. We have already called the police on him, but they haven't showed up yet. Ma'am, I just wanted to let you know that um, I was uh, recording, uh, you know, because I got some reports about a security guard. There's no security here, but uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of rude people here no that way. need to be exposed. What was that? Ma'am. 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 Ma'am, you're acting very irrational. Maybe the public isn't the place for you. I guess I just have that effect on people. I don't know what's going on. Maybe being outside your mother's basement is not the place for you, Frauditor. It doesn't seem to matter to you how many people you're inconveniencing and upsetting. It's all about you and your dumb video. You do have the right to film, but I just wish you would take a step outside of your little delusional bubble and think about others for a change. No one needs you or wants you to protect any of their rights. So what you are doing is not admirable or brave. It's selfish and cowardly. That's not very cool. Wanna go back in there? They won't even let you in. Is it safe to go in? She threatened to push me. Is it safe to even go in? That lady was crazy. You're gonna take a picture of my car? Yeah. Where's my car? As soon as you jump on it, I'll take a picture. Wow. Okay. Where are your buddies? The biggest gang in the world. Where are your boys in blue? Seems to be a low priority for them, right, sir? Uh, it, it seems that way. You would see. Seems that way. Do you know why? Why? Because this is a protected activity, per the Constitution. It's called the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. We have the right, freedom of press, mm -hmm. freedom of religion, and freedom of speech. You understand that now, sir? No, I don't. I'm sorry. What? You're kind of mumbling. Do you understand, sir? No, you're an idiot, man. I'm an idiot. 
but you I'm just trying. I'm just trying to educate you, you sir. I'm just trying to let you know what's going on. I would like a library card, please. I would like a library card. That's very rude. This whole time I just wanted a library card. What's that? They don't let idiots into the library. They don't let idiots into the library. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that makes two of us then because they won't let you in. <laughs> Here's your police. Here's the cop there. Is my ride here? Yeah. My ride's here? Oh, hey, how's it going? Man, you guys kind of like surrounding me here. What's going on? Dude? We're getting multiple calls on you. Yeah. You got no weapons on you, man? Oh, don't sir, 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 don't touch me. Don't touch me. Down. Don't touch me. Calm don't down. touch me. Calm sir, down. help. This is a violation. This is a violation. I'm being violated. That's enough. Help. Help. Well, police, they barely touched you. What a pathetic baby you are. Although I can understand that you've never been touched by human hands before. Well, aside from your own, but I believe that handcuffs feel much worse than that and you're going to find out the hard way if you continue down this path. Don't say I didn't warn you. Now excuse me, I have a sudden urge to go wash my hands. This is a Fourth Amendment violation. I, I consent to no searches or seizures. I consent to no on? searches or What's seizures. What's going on? Why are we getting multiple calls on you? Sir, you just violated my rights, sir. I violate nothing. What is your name and badge number, please? Answer my question, and I'll answer yours. Sir, I don't have to answer your question, sir. You're very young and you're uneducated. You're disturbing people. You're very young and you're uneducated. You're disturbing people. Excuse me. Excuse you a, me. You have a gun on you? Sir. No? Sir. Okay. What is your name and badge number? Well, answer our questions, man. Sir, you're very young and you're uneducated. Listen, man. That's you're not scared, the way it you're works. You're scaring a lot of people. Everybody in here everybody's scared. being scared because you're recording them and they're saying that you might have a gun. Sir. So that's why we patted you down. Right there too. The park right there, everybody was coming out and saying, hey, there's a suspicious person down there. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is being suspicious a felony or a misdemeanor? Well, when you have a gun and then people are saying that you have a gun in your waist. Is it illegal to have a gun? No, it's not, but the way if you're displaying it, if you're scaring people, have I displayed a gun? People are saying you are. I'm not saying you are. Okay. Just but what people are calling us, saying that you might possibly have a gun, so that's why we're here. Okay. And the pat down is. All right. I want to get a couple of things established. First, I'm gonna back away, because you guys are trying to uh, obviously you've already violated me, and I think that you plan to violate me further. How are we violating um, you? Sir, you violated my How? Fourth Amendment right. Do you understand? Do you realize that? You down for Sir, let me tell you something. Do you understand what qualified immunity is? Okay? Do you understand what qualified immunity is, sir? I'm asking you a question, public servant. Do you understand what qualified immunity is? Do you understand that when you violate someone's rights like you did me, you put your qualified immunity at risk? Okay? You, sir. It, excuse me, sir. Sir, don't try to deny it now. Okay? Do not try to deny it now. Do not try to deny it now. Everything. Is your body cam running? Yeah, it's always running. Okay, so. So then basically you've incriminated yourself on camera. You've incriminated yourself on your body cam. You've incriminated yourself on your body cam. I, excuse me, I don't have to answer that because I've committed no crimes. In fact, the only crime that's been committed is by you two violating my Fourth Amendment right. And I need to know what your name is and what your name is. And what is your badge number, sir? Start with that. Officer Guillen. I can't read, sir. I cannot read. Badge 1034. I'm sorry, say that one more time. Officer Guillen, ID 15974, badge 1034. Why are you okay. shaking, man? Okay. And what is your badge number, sir? My name is Schaffner. Badge number 1088. Okay, 
So, let me just get this established, okay guys? We have the American Constitution that protects us from tyranny, okay? Tyrants go up to people and just start searching them, okay? That is exactly search, what, excuse me, excuse me, public servant. Pockets. That is what the Nazis did, excuse me. This is not Germany, sir, this is America. I'm sorry, I'm allergic to bullshit. You cannot scary. just go up to a free... ...to record me and take pictures... Of yes, sir, I do. My, he, he, yes, sir, I do. He's trying to get a rise out of everybody. No, no, so. I am not trying to get a rise out of anyone. I am uh, trying to educate. Is that, is that his right to do that? I, mean, that's I am trying to educate. These two officers right here have violated you my talk rights. About the Constitution? Excuse me, sir. Let's talk about the Constitution. Did you ever serve your country? Excuse me, sir. Did you serve your country? Excuse me, sir. Did you serve your country? That is irrelevant, I sir. Two tours in fucking Iraq. If that's so the case, the then you fought the for my rights. Then you fought for my rights to record. To record what? You Eat? fought for my rights to I'm record. That shit is a Thread. Sir, you fought so for my rights. To me about the you country fought country for my First Amendment you. right, sir. I have the First I Amendment for right. Country to give you that privilege that you have right there. Yes, it's called the First Amendment, sir. I have the right to record. I'm just letting you know. Sir, I have the right to record. Both of what? Goddamn combat. Will, will you, you hear me out? Know. So don't give me that bullshit. I fought along men. Thank you for and your women. service. Thank you for your who service. Died for Thank you for your country. service. But do you and realize? You come and do that shit to me. Sir, you That's fought for my right to film you. You fought for my right to film. Do you realize that, sir? Alright. So. Sir, I'm gonna have to file an official complaint. I hope that you don't want to get any kind of, you know, promotion, sergeants, or anything like that, because let me tell you, a sergeant acts with professionalism. A sergeant does not escalate a sergeant de-escalates do you have any de-escalation training sir you're not allowing me to talk at all sir do i have to allow you to talk well how is a person supposed to de-escalate i get to say whatever i want and when i finish then you may speak public servant the problem with you is you're completely delusional so when you are done can i can i chime in negative okay so you don't want me to de-escalate Sir, you you came up to me and you violated me. You started grabbing me. You touched my penis. What? Did did he really just say that? I'm sure that no one has ever, nor will anyone in the future ever, ever touch that thing. Okay, now I need to do more than just wash my hands. I'm going to need to take a shower with a Brillo pad. Never once did. Oh I yes, you did. Stayed on that side. Okay, then I guess I must have been feeling things, okay? But you patted me all over. I patted you down, correct. Y you did, and guess what? You did touch my penis. Yeah, TMI, TMI, my friends. Anyway, let's not go there, because I don't think you did it on purpose. But no, I know no, that no, you no. violated my Fourth Amendment on purpose. You definitely did that on purpose. What did I do? What did you do? You came up like gangbusters and you decided to treat me like you treat everybody else because they allow you to get away with it. Did I treat that guy with anything? Sir, you're backpedaling now. I didn't, didn't. You're backpedaling, well, sir, and it's transparent. Correct. And I told you, I told you, you're very young and uneducated, okay? I didn't say ignorant because that might have been a little bit rude. But you know what? I think it's well-deserved. You are ignorant, sir. You're ignorant to the law and you're ignorant to the Constitution. Shame on you. Mm -hmm. Shame on you, sir. Seriously. You should know the law. And guess what? After today, after today was an education for you. And I guarantee you from this point on, you're not just going to go up and touch people. You're not just going to go up and illegally search them when I have committed no crime. You said it what crime? You down. What crime did I commit for you to search me? So, are you going to let me talk? Hurry up. Me off? Hurry up. Uh, no, sir, I don't go off of your Oh, time. yes, you do, no, public do servant. You work for I me, boy. Not. So... What has happened? You're a young what boy. So are you going to let me talk or are you just going to continue to cut me off? Hurry up. Okay. So, call came out that you were threatening people, that you had a gun on your waist. Okay. So as we showed up, right, we patted you down for weapons, not a search, a pat down on the outside of your clothing, which that's what it was. And then once we determined there was no weapons, then we just started talking. You have a ski mask on in the middle of the day. Everybody's freaked out. 
So yeah, we have enough reasonable suspicion that you might have a gun on you. Once we determine you didn't, then we started talking, right? Sir, the correct way to approach the situation would be to come up to me, say, hello, sir, how are you doing today? And I would have said, fine, sir, how are you? What's your name and your badge number? You would have given it to me politely and respectfully per your policy. And then you would have said, hey, we're getting some complaints today about you harassing people and that you have a gun. Is that true? And then I would have chose or not chose to answer your question. Well, the correct way to have approached the situation from the very start would have been when someone said they didn't want you to film them, for you to have said, I'm sorry, I wanted to make a shitty YouTube video, but I know that your feelings matter as much as mine, and it's rude for me to upset you so that I can make a few dollars on YouTube. So I will not film you anymore, and I won't post your image on YouTube from the video I already took because that is the decent and moral thing to do. Of course, you will just turn around and keep filming anyway, and then go home and immediately put the video up on YouTube, but that's at least what you should have said. Okay. At that point, you can then assess if you had to research and look at camera footage in there, if you wanted to investigate. Or you could assess just by looking at me that none of those things were true. However, what you did, sir, was a violation of my Fourth Amendment right. Oh, yes, it was. You cannot just come up to someone and start interrogating them, start violating them. It was a form of rape. What? What are you talking about? Okay, I'm sure that you can agree with me that it's time to speed this crap up now. In, 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 in its sense, not to, you know, diminish any poor women who have had to go through such a terrible thing, but if you look at the definition of the word rape, you know, it is a force upon you that you do not consent. And I kept telling you and warning you, I do not consent to searches. I do not consent to any searches or seizures. And what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Exactly, sir. No, no. Do not. Do not. Do not try to backpedal. No, I'm not telling you. No, no, no. You said it yourself. We patted it. We patted you down. You said it yourself. I even confirmed that you said that. Sir, I have a question. Yes, sir. If I came up to you and started touching your legs, what would you do? Am I, at this point, am I a... You have a gun? At this point, am I a person... You would arrest me, sir. You would arrest me. You know why? Because I can't just go up to you and start tapping you and touching your crotch, etc, etc, etc. Okay, that does it. I'm done. Time to just skip past this whole conversation, etc, etc, etc. All these sir, people came all out. All I ask is you not record because it is violating their rights. They asked me to tell you that, okay? I'm sorry, ma'am. like you have rights, they have rights too. Excuse me, ma'am. Just when I thought that you were educated, now I have to educate you as well. Ma'am, there there is no expectation of privacy in public. And you would know that if you read up on it. Remember how you told me? And you would know that if you read up on it, okay? You would know that if you read up on it. Would you at least identify him? Oh, we have a supervisor coming on. Things are going to get a little bit more handled more into it. We do have an investigation. If you all need our Yes, I'm going to go to right now and get them because if we stay on you, just need to keep recording and just going to build it higher than it needs to be. We appreciate it. Oh, look at that. A supervisor is coming before you even had to demand one. Looks like Christmas is coming early for you this year. Thank you. Yeah, it is becoming the thing when you start reporting children. Ma'am, there's no expectation of privacy in public. I'll be right there to get on the Sorry about that. I'm waiting for a supervisor to get really more in depth with it all. We're going to be wrapping it up. You're going to be wrapping it up? What happened to the supervisor that was going to escalate things? What happened to the supervisor that was going to escalate things? Ma'am, can I please get your name and badge number for the record? Ma'am, can I please get your name and badge number for the record to be professional? Please be professional. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I thought too. Ma'am, please be professional and give me your name and badge number. You threatened that a supervisor was going to come and escalate the situation. Name and badge number, ma'am. Um, can you please say that clearly? Keep up? That's very rude. This female cop is hysterical. Listen to her. She knows how to deal with a fraud at her. Did you want my name and badge number? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> wow. What a snide little...
Hey, buddy. Are you even recording? It's okay. He's, it's just, it's another, you know, they want to get famous off YouTube and Facebook, so. Ma'am, I want to educate and let people know that there is no expectation of privacy in public. Ma'am, can I please get, can I please see your name tag, please? Can I please see your name tag? Yeah, yeah unfortunately, but... So, he's going to continue to be a nuisance? No, we're going to ask the librarian and everything like that, so don't worry about it. You want to stay out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just make sure. Ma'am, are you looking for a reason to arrest me? Are you soliciting a trespass? Because I would have to break the law in order to be trespassed. You're good to go. There's no getting through with that. We're going to close the library early. Ma'am, there's no getting through to you. One asshole? Unfortunately. You're going to close the library because of him? Yeah, unfortunately. Why are you covering your name tag? That's, I told you my name that's very unprofessional and childish. That's very immature. That's very immature, ma'am. I just said it again for you. What is it? I just said it twice. Say, say it, it again. Say it twice. Say it again. I dare you to say it again. Thank you. Yeah, because you know what you're doing is wrong. Closing the library for a protected yeah, yeah, activity just, per the Constitution. You just pissed off everybody and closed the library. I closed the library? Yeah, you did. Or did they close the library? Yeah, yeah you did because uh, they don't want an They closed the they, library. They don't want I didn't close the library. Asshole. They closed the library. Get that correct, see? Yeah. So You're wrong at every you're turn. Hello. The police are here and they still lock the doors. What are they scared of? You. Me? The, what did I do wrong? I, the librarian is closing the library early. Well, you know, per the reviews, they're always closed, this place. They like to close down for everything. Hey, sir. I'm going to go and film their personal trucks. Actually, it's not their personal trucks. It's our city trucks. We pay for those uh, vehicles. So I'm going to go film them because I have every right to film. That little officer, the female, mumbling her name on purpose. What a jerk. Oh wow, you sure showed them, you showed them what a childish moron you are and that just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Great job. It's my right. You're good, Mom. You're good. He's just recording. Wait. It's okay. It's just a protected activity per the Constitution. It's just you right now. You guys are the ones with guns.
Hold my baby. My Did dad, my hey, my dad used to give me those and make me swear an oath every morning. <laughs> really? Yep. Cool. He was a sergeant, Corpus Christi PD. Oh, really? What was his name? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> you don't tell me your name, I unprofessional. Oh, What's right. your name, public servant? I don't know. What does that say? I can't read. I can't read. Huh? It's a person. You asked. How do you pronounce it, ma'am? I said it three times. You don't want to be professional? I already am professional. Okay, because I want you to imagine if a judge is watching this right now. Which judge? Any judge. Which one? From litigation. Which one? I want to talk about litigation. Well, which one? Let's talk about litigation. Oh my gosh, Shaffner, which one? This is a big deal. Holy, which one? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I was violated. My Fourth Amendment rights were violated, ma'am, by this officer and another officer under the guise of a Terry Frisk. Yes, sir. Do you want me to explain it to you? Because I will. Ma'am, no, how I'm am I supposed to, to take your explanations when you didn't even know the law earlier? You threatened for a supervisor to come and escalate things. No, I asked. I said there might be a Do you have any de-escalation training? Yes. But no, you do not. No, you do not. Is no, you do crisis? not. No, you do not. Not that I know of. No, you do not. You gonna drop them off? Yeah, that might be your best bet right now. I wanna be late. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you will. <laughs> do you want me to explain the situation? Ma'am, you're unprofessional. Down? You're unprofessional. Why? Listen, sergeants get... Don't smile? Sergeants get paid more of because they, they de-escalate, they know the law, and they don't act like childish kids with saying your name, mumbling it. I already yeah. said it. I know you are, but what am I? Uh-uh. I already said it. Here it is. Uh -huh. Can you read? I told you. Listen, it's unprofessional and rude. Have you ever done this? Are you freaking cap out? Oh, great. How long was your dad in the CCP? Ten years. That's did it? He stay? Did he stay? Or yeah, did he stay or did he leave? He moved on to greener pastures. Ah. There was a lot of corruption he was telling me about. Yeah. Do you know what mad money is? It's when cops no, no, take I'm not, money. I'm not a sergeant, so I wouldn't know. Right. It's when police officers take money enough. from homeless people, and whenever their right, wives get mad at them, they use that money to go out and spend. It's called mad money. Wow. Yeah. That's awful. Yeah. You would never, right? You guys would never plant dope on people, right? No. Actually. No? But I there's been multiple cases of police officers doing that. Which one? Multiple cases. Look it up. You would know if you looked it up. Remember how you told me? No, I asked you. You would that. know. You would know if you looked it up. Look. Yeah, it's kind of hot. And I don't. Well, at least you have long. Yeah, get your ass out of here. Kick rocks. Get your ass back to work. And now that the father knows that the police are leaving, he suddenly becomes brave and starts berating them. I wonder if he knows that it just makes him look that much more like a coward when he does that. Go on, get! You're a tyrant. You're a tyrant. Get out of here. Kick rocks. Get out of here, cops. You see how I talk to them, sir? That's called the First Amendment. Oh, it's okay for you, right? What's good for thee? Oh, oh, so this is a low priority. After we, After we de-escalated the situation. Oh, I think I de-escalated by telling you what's up. You should be a cop. I de-escalated by telling you what's up. Okay. Sir, can I get your name and badge number, sir? Richie, 14628. Very professional. I bet you he's a sergeant. Holy shit. I bet you he's a sergeant. That is professionalism, sir. You too, sir. God bless you. Hey, stay safe out there. You're in the wrong profession, ma'am. You're in the wrong profession. Get out of here. Kick rocks. Kick rocks. Do the drive of shame. Do the drive of shame. Do the drive of shame. Get out of here. Kick rocks. Drive away! That's what I thought!
Yes! Yes! Victory! Yes! I told you! What did I tell you, sir? I told you I was doing nothing wrong. This is a constitutionally protected activity. I have the First Amendment on my side. I tell the public servants what to do. I tell them what to do. I tell them to leave. Get out of here, public servants. Get out of here. Kick rocks. All of you, kick rocks. What do you think, sir? You're a child molester, right? Shame on you, man. Shame on you. Shame on you. All right, yo. American Press Corps coming at you again with another raw video. Public officials need to be held accountable. People need to know that videotaping is not a crime. Coming at you again. Till I see you again. Out. Well, now that the forwarder's big mouth is finally closed, Let's take a look at some cuter animals with a big mouth.